Hello YouTube, welcome to the channel. Now then on today's video, we're going to be looking at this. It's the little Tizen 686 tugboat. Uh, why are we looking at a remote control tugboat? You might be asking yourself. Bit of a backstory. Uh, just before Christmas, a mate of mine, we went out uh, to a pond with some uh, RC boats. Uh, unfortunately, while we were there, one of them uh, conked basically in the middle of the lake. It took us about well, a good three quarters of an hour to retrieve it using another boat. And it was it was touch and go whether we actually managed to get it back to the shore or not. Sort of got me thinking, um, would it be worth taking a little rescue boat with us uh, for that sort of eventuality that we can go out there? You know, if something does get stuck hook it up and drag it back to the shore uh, because that's the only downside uh, with RC boats is if one does get stuck uh, you know you, you're going to get wet or you leave it. Now I did actually mention this to Banggood and they said oh we'll send you one of these little tugboats so big thumbs up to Banggood for sponsoring today's video. Uh, so that's precisely what we're going to do today actually we're going to test this and then we're going to see uh, if we can't use it as a little uh, RC recovery boat. Now, before we open the box, this thing is 1 to 72. I believe it's fully proportional. I mean, it's only a small thing. Uh, it's made by Ties In, and they are the people that made that little green jet boat that we tried a few weeks back. And so if this thing is anything like that, it'll be absolutely superb because that jet boat is brilliant. Now, I have noticed that Ties In have started to make a few different kind of RC boats, and uh, they're all sort of listed on Banggood. So, if, like I say, if they're anything like the green one, they'll be absolutely superb. This sort of comes in a kit form, partially assembled. You have to put various bits and pieces on it, and we're going to have to uh, suss out some way of attaching. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is attach a great big long piece of string. I've seen this done on, on YouTube. A big long piece of string with some float on it and basically i've seen people circle about they snag it on the rudder or the prop or whatever and then they drag it back in because this thing has got uh, no rudder it's got two shrouded propellers that turn so hopefully uh, we won't get snagged in our own uh, string uh, but anyway enough waffle let's get this thing open and see what it's like right then in the box we get our instructions we get a little bag with the battery USB battery charger and a screwdriver in there. Uh, this battery, incidentally, is a little 600 milliamp hour, 3.7 volt unit, nothing spectacular. Uh, we get our transmitter. Uh, now this is fully proportional, I am led to believe. Uh, it does feel cheap and horrible and plasticky, but to be honest, uh, this little tugboat is only 26 quid, which is about $30 US. So, uh, you know, I'm not expecting too much. Um, it's got some adjustment on it in various places. I think steering adjustment, that might be it. That looks like an on-off button. Uh, but like I say, it is fully proportional, this thing. And last but not least, we have the actual kit tugboat itself. I'll just take you over here. It basically comes sort of 70% done, and then you have to add various bits and pieces to it. Um, in order to just finish it off so that's what we're going to do i'm just going to take this out of the box uh, assemble it and then we can have a look at it right then that's the little fella assembled nothing too tricky it takes about 10 15 minutes if that uh now while i'm waiting for the battery to charge up i thought we'd have a quick look round it uh, it's a good looking little tugboat actually uh, the battery lives in the back in this waterproof cover uh, i mean you get a huge compartment for a very small battery um well, like i say it's waterproof we can seal it back up uh, there is, I've noticed, a bung on the bottom of the hull, so if you do get any water in this thing, you can drain it out via that little bung there, which is always a nice little touch. And uh, there are two propellers with the two shrouds, and these basically rotate and make the boat turn, basically. Now, because this is a little tugboat, there are lots of places to attach uh, string or rope, etc. Uh, I think what we'll do is attach something at the back here, uh, with possibly a little arm, a piece of metal or something like that just to keep it away from the props and have a great big long piece of string with some floats on and then if we've got a, a, a you know a, a stuck boat we can go out to it dragging this uh, piece of string and floats behind encircle the boat and then hopefully we'll snag something and drag it back to shore hopefully we won't snag anything in there otherwise we'll be rescuing the rescue boat uh, but like I say, waiting for the battery to to, uh, to charge up uh, and then we'll quickly try it. Right, then battery's fully charged. Let's set the steering. There we go, that works a treat. Throttle. Proportional. A bit noisy, but never mind. 
Uh, the lights, I always think lights on a boat were a bit gimmicky until uh, this thing goes out a little way onto the pond and you can't see it anymore, then those lights become absolutely invaluable. Next step, we're going to figure out how we're going to mount our recovery system uh, and then we'll take it from there. And I've actually finished making the recovery system and before we go out and test it on the little tugboat, I just thought I'd share with you what's involved. Dead straightforward, we've basically got three floats uh, attached via a piece of string and uh, there's one at the front, one at the back, one in the middle. And what I propose to do is just basically attach the back of the tugboat via this piece of wire. As you drag it along, encircle the boat that's stuck. Hopefully the string snags on something like a rudder or a piece of bodywork. Uh, and you basically tow it back in. Um, so the theory is nice and simple. Uh, it might be completely different in practice. But anyway, let's go and try it. Right then, we're outside with the little tugboat. As you can see, we've got three floats attached to the back of it. Now, I don't know if you can see over there, it's a bit far away, I know, but we've got the little orange boat. We're gonna try and rescue that. We're gonna pretend it's dead in the water. I'm gonna do my best to film this. This is gonna be quite <laughs> tricky to film and uh, to operate the boat. But uh, anyway, here goes, let's try. Now, what I'm gonna try and do is encircle that boat. I find it very difficult to turn one way actually. I'm going to try going the other way. So hopefully we can snag it and drag it back to the shore. There he says. This is proving much, <laughs> much harder than I thought. Actually, I think I've got it. No, I haven't. Right, let's try again. Try, try to get it a bit slower this time. Uh, my rescue boat's upside down. <laughs> so then what have we learnt so far? We've learnt the rescue boat doesn't have a self-writing function and we've learnt that the little orange boat that was supposed to be rescued actually makes a better rescue boat than the rescue boat. However, I'm going to give it another go. <laughs> I'm a glutton for punishment. I'm not going to go too far out just this time, just in case. Uh, well, let's, just, let's just give it another go. I think it's the weight of the floats. They're a little bit too high up, I think, at the back. And it's not allowing the boat to turn, and it's just sort of tipping itself over. I'll try and bring it, bring it back to shore. This might take some time. Ooh, might have this. Oh, I think I'm onto something here. <laughs> Come on, you got this, baby. Oh. Oh, here we go. Right then, there we go. I've caught one just snagged it round the rudder. I think I've got this sussed. It's not, the little tugboat isn't powerful enough. Or it, it's very difficult to turn with these things in tension, these three floats. But as soon as you sort of reverse and scoot it round, it just becomes that much more manoeuvrable. Uh, so in fact, there we go, we've rescued our little orange boat. So that worked, that actually did work. Just a bit of practice, I think. Right, let's try again, just in case it was a fluke. Here we go. There we go. International rescue. Okay, so it does work. It just takes a bit of practice, really. Now that the rescue system is detached, let's see what the little tugboat's like. I mean, as you'd imagine, it's actually pretty manoeuvrable. This thing. Noisy, but powerful.
funny this thing, the way it wobbles around. There we go. Pretty much sus this, I think. Um, it makes it a damn sight easier if the boat's got a rudder. What a jet boat is like to recover, I don't know. But yes, I'm going to say that's a win. Right then, back inside, what do we think of our little tugboat here? And what do we think of our recovery system? Uh, the recovery system, although it did work, it did take a little bit of practice. It's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, but given a little bit of practice, you can make it work. Um, although it did capsize the boat at one point, which is a bit tricky. Um, like I say, a bit of practice and you can recover the stranded boats. I did actually try it on a jet boat later on, which I wasn't filming, unfortunately. And I did actually uh, get the string of the recovery system stuck in the props on the tugboat. Um, so like I say, it isn't perfect. That was my fault really, because I ran it, ran over the string a couple of times instead of being patient and, and going round the floats. So I went through them and thought I could sort of take a shortcut with it, but it didn't work. Anyway, it does sort of work, but and, and it does need a few tweaks. Uh, but with a bit of practice, you can recover boats using it. Right, what do we think of our little tugboat here? Let's have some pros and cons. We're not great with tradition. We'll go with the cons first. Uh, there's no self-writing function on this, uh, unfortunately. So when it does go belly up, you're pretty much stuffed. Uh, you can't self-write it with a throttle either. So, you know, when, when it's turned turtle, that's it. You're going to get wet. The next con I got written down in my list, and I am sort of scraping the bottom of the barrel, considering the price of this thing, is the low speed control is a little bit, is a touch on and off. Uh, but... At the end of the day, it's a cheap boat. Okay then, now let's have some pros. Now the first of which I've got written down in my list is the stability. It's reasonably stable, this thing is. I know it turned turtle at one point, but that was the recovery system sort of dragging it over. In normal operation, it does bob around everywhere, but it didn't flip over. And considering the cheap price of this thing, it is fully proportional. Uh, I mean, I know there's a little bit of low down control issue, but considering the price, it's pretty good. Despite this thing having a small battery, the battery life was pretty good. I didn't actually run the battery down while I was using it, so we were out there for a good while. I couldn't tell you exactly how long uh, the run time is, but um, it's a, you get a, even though the battery is a small battery, you get a decent amount of run time with this. And for the price, it's quite a fun little boat. I mean, it's not going to uh, turn the heads of any hardcore boat enthusiasts, but for the money, it's fun. And uh, again, it's a cheap boat. Right, well, the conclusion time where I recommend the Tizen 686 tugboat to you guys. I'm going to say yeah. I mean, for the price, there's nothing wrong with this at all. It did actually work as our little recovery boat, and I shall be using it for that in future. It is good fun to pilot around, and uh, like I say, for the money, you just can't go wrong. As ever, there will be a link in the description to where you can go and get this thing from. A uh, big thumbs up to Banggood for supplying it to the channel for review. Uh, and if you found this video some use and interest, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're feeling that way inclined, hit that subscribe button for more similar future content. Once again, guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you again very, very soon.